and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. What's up, Midnight Slayer? Thanks for that. Sub there, you are awesome. So we got some Esper Control here on our Tier 1 Tuesday stream. Let me update this over here. Sixth subscriber of the day. Um, yeah, I don't play a lot of Esper Control, uh, of course, uh, but this was this was definitely a deck that uh, people were asking to see because uh, they want to see what I what I would be playing for Esper Control, and I really like where this list is at. Uh, I'd spent a lot of time working on this list, uh, playing playing some practice matches, you know, trying out different numbers, trying out different cards, and everything. And it may look like I don't know what I'm doing with playing one of everything in the main deck and one of everything in the sideboard. But honestly, for a deck like Esper that has a lot of card advantage, a lot of card selection, um, honestly, having access to a lot of different powerful cards in the main deck and then being able to double up on whatever you want over here in the sideboard and everything, I really like that. And I think it's it's a, <clears throat> a really good choice because standard like playing a control deck in standard right now is tough standard is very diverse a lot of uh good decks a lot of good threats and you kind of need specific answers for specific scenarios and just having that having those kind of cards in your deck instead of just playing two and three of a few different like crappier removal spells and then you not having like access to what you want um can come back and bite you so yeah, we got kind of like one of each <laughs> removal spell, and I've been been pretty happy with it so far. Uh, as you can tell here, we got one drawn from dreams in the deck. Also, that's a card that's just amazing, and that's a card that I think a lot of people that are playing Esper are overlooking. I think that the the first copy of Drawn from Dreams is very good and and certainly worth it. So we got we got the one in here, um, but there we go. I'm, I did, I'm not playing four Narset, four Teferi. Because I, I feel like if you're only having like lands and narsets and teferis, people are going to be running you over. We're going with three, so I get get some extra removal and interaction spells in here. Um, but there, we, like, this is so yeah, this is the Esper control list that that I like right now that I would be recommending people playing. Um, if you're an Esper control fan. So let's go ahead and get to some games. It's already a little later here, and we got a 12-hour stream tomorrow, so I can't stay up super late. i got to get, get some early sleep tonight, too. So usually we play five matches with every deck, but, on, but with Esper Control taking longer, we may not get five matches in here. Maybe we do, like, three or so. But, yeah, of course, I've, of course, always, like, the people in Twitch chat here can be asking questions, but if you're watching this video later on YouTube and you have questions, feel free to put... Some comments in the uh, on the YouTube video there, and I'll try to respond to them if you have any questions about these cards. Let's see what we got. All right, good hand. Three lands, four spells. Pirates. Our opponents playing pirates in standard. Maybe they're playing sirens. Wizards. Most likely, Danny. It's. I would say it's not guaranteed that you're going to be in top thousand at being three fifty, but most likely. Favorable wins. Do I need to mortify favorable wins? It's probably better just to mortify creature. They don't have creatures. Then doesn't matter if they get plus one plus one or not. Kaya's Wrath. It's good enough. Yeah, if you're at you're at 350 right now, I'd say it's probably like a 70% chance that you make it.
there's what 10 hours left maybe like 75 or 80 percent probably yeah probably like 75 80 percent hey what's up dex well, that's a good card to put in the graveyard Hmm. How was Bant Ramp? Bant Ramp was pretty good. It was fun to play. Two. So go down to 11. Yeah, 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 timer. Just so likely this gets countered, I think. Oh, maybe it doesn't. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. You need to take a time out. Cool. So Teferi will die. But that's alright. Hey Danny. You are a rock star as well. Thank you so much, Danny. Thanks for that. Sub there. Our eighth subscriber of the day. We are two away from another sub goal. Of course, if they kill Teferi, we get to gain two life. And maybe we find Kaya's Wrath here. Card number four. Scanta's not quite flipping. Let's slow this down. No time for a break. Now we'll untap our lands here. That's not a card I want. On top of our lands here, encounter this favorable winds, of course. That'll be card number five. Not quite flipping Escanta still. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Danny. Glad, yeah, glad, uh, glad you've been watching and enjoying the stream and everything. Thanks for that support, too. So tomorrow, we're starting the stream early at noon tomorrow. All right, that, got, that gets me. Let's get these Cryocranariums, Legion's End, Duresses, Veto. Uh, get rid of Elder Spell. We didn't see any white creatures from them, but they most likely have the the three mana two three Lord there. Time Raveler. Time Raveler doesn't Time Raveler sorry that was Time Raveler doesn't minus very well here but maybe we can keep them from playing you know instants and stuff uh, you know counter magic that kind of stuff We need Kaya's Wrath to resolve Is there anything I'm missing here Now let's go with this. Yeah, that was Rally of Wings there. Their opponent played it. Creatures you control the flying get plus two, plus two. 
This deck can certainly go under us. I probably could have sided out, sided out a land. I guess if we if we lose this, I'm probably going to side out a land on the draw. Yeah. Yeah, I need to take out a land on the draw. If we, or sorry, if we win this. If we win this and we play game three and we're on the draw, I need to take out a land. No, tomorrow I'll be, I'll be back playing. Uh, I got a couple of donation decks to do, and I'll be playing... Um, a lot of brews that I've that I've already played that you know I'll be updating and stuff, but yeah, I'll be playing on different decks there. Um, I guess we take Time Raveler. Well, good job, Thought Razor, getting getting rid of a land. Four straight lands at the top of the deck after keeping five land. It's kind of brutal. Yeah, Helm of the Host. So, Helm of the Host, I'm thinking... Uh, it does feel like... It does feel like, you know, green ramp is, is the way to... Like, if we're trying to make a Helm of the Host deck, that's that's something that's pretty necessary there. But it, it does kind of feel like having... Just playing a, a Karn deck... That... Um, Playing a Karn deck that Karn just goes and grabs your Helm of the Host all the time. You know, allows you to play more copies that, you know, basically lets you play four, four main deck Helm of the Hosts. But is that is that kind of like the, the kind of deck that you wanted? So I'm, you know, I'm basically kind of thinking like, is there is there a better Helm of the Host deck than just playing like the mono, like mono green Tron style? I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I also play in the mono black control where we have. That's true. I have Helmo Host in the mono black control deck with Karn that we played the other day that has the. Uh, whatever they're called. The uh, the lands that add a lot of mana. Cabal Strongholds. It has the Cabal Strongholds. That thing's just going to draw too many cards. Gave them one one turn. Please don't have another one of those. Uh Our deck's a lot better when we have 5 minutes of fairy. <laughs> giving us the card advantage. It's a lot better. Oh, I didn't... I I see the reason why our deck's not playing well. I have this really crappy swamp in here. Oh, uh, that's, that's it. That's the problem. Figured it out.
teamer or Naya ramp with it. <laughs> Let's get the swamp out of here. Yeah, it is a tilting swamp. Yeah, that swamp was horrible. Or, yeah, so. Yeah. Helm the host on Risen Reef and have seven Risen Reefs? Yeah, if you, that's that's a way to mill yourself out. Okay, we need good plains, good swamp. All right, now we're going to be in there. That's a problem. You can't be tilting yourself on your basic lands. You're not going to draw well if you're if you're tilted yourself. It's not going to work out. All right. Well, we got our card advantage cards. And we got some early interaction. Let's talk about how I need to sideboard out a land that last matchup. I. Eh? Really did need to do that. So lesson learned when cutting the, the curve down like that, take out a land. A good crisis there. <laughs> hey, not. Thanks for watching the YouTube channel a bunch. I, I really appreciate that. And thanks for stopping by over here now, too. Yeah, I got rid of the the cast down because it's just a, a one for one removal spell where I, Wanted something better than that. The deck that we're playing has a lot of their things just draw cards and stuff, and just one for one removal isn't the best against them. So I'm taking Isolated Chapel for sure. And then it's Thought Erasure or Teferi. I think it's Thought Erasure. And then, yeah, yeah, that's the other thing is land was an important <clears throat> thing that I needed there, which cast down was not a land. Gosh, what a great... A great Risen Reef. Please, no Nissa. I'll feel bad for not holding up Dovin's veto if they just top deck Nissa. Are you kidding me? I Seriously? You. Rise, my elemental friend. you have got to be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. Yeah. 
Right on schedule. Not so fast. Well, there goes our Teferi. We already know I have two other Teferis at the bottom. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. <laughs> oh, I should have waited a card. <laughs> Alright, at least we have the veto for the for that Nissa again now. Got rid of two reefs and two crises. Was a weird concession point. Oh yeah, I need to put the star next to Esper. Thank you. We're not playing Bant Ramp anymore. Thank you. Um... Right, I'm not so not so sure about this. I don't know how much I really like these cry of the Carnariums. No blue mana. That's great. Kitty Dexterity gifting out that sub to Mizzou Steve. Thank you so much, Kitty Dexterity. That gets us one sub away from our sub goal. That's right, Kitty Dexterity is doing their thing there. Thank you so much there. So yeah, if you're enjoying the stream, I'd like to help support me as being a full-time streamer here, it's, consider hitting that sub button. You get access to all those really cool emotes there. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. I guess that's the reason to take Tamio, because Tamio just puts the Krasis back in their hand, and then Tamio eats the Noxious Grasp. Oh wow, they ticked up. You will find my notes Scared of. Oath of Kaya. Oh, come on. <laughs> I will not stand for such violence. Land 
We are all connected. Behold, nature's true power. And then, yep, just draw the land so they have Nyssa right this turn. Why not? Yep, we're at one. Yep, one more sub to get to our first goal towards the next 12 hour stream after tomorrow. Because we got one tomorrow already. So we'll find Kaya's Wrath here. Does leave them with, you know, hardly any lands. Like Kaya's Wrath would be great. Let's see if we see it. Not Kai's Wrath. Now there's that. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, let's keep the cries. All right, let's give this a try. So I think like they could have like a large crisis that I want the Mortify for instead of Othakaya. Yeah, I could like unmoor ego here. Like I think Crisis would be like Crisis Nissa and Crisis would probably be the things to unmoor ego. Yeah, you can. It's hard for me to say what deck you should build towards. You know, being new to new, you can you can really kind of build towards anything. It's it's something that you get to choose of what what kind of magic that you want to play what what excites you and everything like there's not just a, a one good answer of um working towards something uh specific that was a bad land to play there elijah thanks so much for gifting a sub there to peeps champ We'll get some hype in the chat there. Thanks, Elijah. All right, so there's our sub goal. Got there. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's in top 10 mythic with Mono White Johnny Tribal. Mystic's a good card. I can no longer stand by and watch. Trust me, I have a plan.
The sub badge is a tie. Informant for my studs. Seek and find. Good hand. So I sometimes it's better just it's better to be playing threats than answers. Sometimes. Let's try this. They just have another negate. We are dead. Like, our opponent should just be minusing and grabbing the other Frilled Mystic back. Frilled Mystic's a hell of a card. Or or the Negate, I guess. If you're getting one of those back. What's my strategy? I don't. Um, I don't. Know, I don't really have any specific strategy for re for reaching mythic. I I've played a lot of Magic in my day, and uh, yeah, I don't. It's I'm not like playing all sorts of different decks to try to reach mythic. I'm playing all sorts of decks to uh, make the best stream I can and and entertain y'all kind of thing. It's not. Playing tons of different decks is not a very, it's not a great strategy for reaching Mythic kind of thing. So yeah, they just have Negate in hand. Anyway. I've got it. Um, the, yeah, Golgari, I, I played a Golgari, uh, Go Golgari Citadel deck, and I was a little disappointed on how it did. Honestly, it didn't, it didn't feel as good as what I was expecting it to, but as far as, like, a Golgari mid-range deck, no, I haven't, really. Uh, I mean, I guess, like, the Golgari Stompy that, that I like playing, I like Golgari Stompy a lot, we played that yesterday. That's kind of like a Golgari mid-range deck. I have learned much from my ancestors. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Still at like zero percent to win this. So do they have their other, other negate too? Ugh. 
too many lands for us. But very good hand from our opponent. Like how I sideboard. I'm glad I had the Cryo Carnariums in there and everything. We just had way too many lands in our deck. Or in our hand there. I wonder if I need to start cutting a land just more often. Like, post board games are longer than pre board games. People. On both sides, there's a lot more interaction. And so, in a longer game, you don't need as many lands. That's probably just me. With, you know, hindsight thinking, like not. I should probably be. I should probably keep it the 26. That's probably just me. Um, looking at the very small sample of a couple of games there. Yeah, everything loses power at rotation. I am not going to sit this one out. And yeah, as, as per control does, Let's of course, see. not having Hero of Dominaria, which is arguably the best card in the deck. But every everything's going to be losing power across the board. All right, an extra Legion's End, a couple Cry of the Carnariums. We'll get rid of Elder Spell. We'll keep. We'll take Noxious Grasp. I guess we do want Hand Disruption and Counter Magic against the deck playing a bunch of God's Willings. So this is 65 right here. Instead of cutting the land, I'm going to be bringing in the extra Drawn from Dreams whenever we're going to have more interaction and everything here. Um, yeah, that's that's a solid plan. Is Narset too slow? And vulnerable? Same Othakaya. Like maybe that's that's my plan, bringing this extra draw from dreams, but cut cut Narset. I think that's a reasonable plan. Feel bad about putting that cry back if there's war bosses beating me down. 
But I do have... Yeah, I don't have the double black right now, and I do have Thought Rager that can take a war boss right here. So that's my plan. Thought Rager take war boss. Good one. It looks like our, our opponent's, you know, ready for Esper Hero. I should keep this. It's another black source. I should keep it. You know, with me having usually Esper decks. Usually Esper decks do have creatures. Me, not so much. These Reckless Rages aren't doing anything. I even sideboarded out the creatures. Perfect draw. I'm hold that thought. Still need to find more removal. You know, if they find some some threat, you know, like a war boss or something that could really beat us up. Oath of Kaya. I'm known for my excellent time. Give me that back. I got this. Yeah, our opponent boarded an honor guard because a lot of Esper players are playing, which I mean I don't don't hate it, but I guess they thought they were Esper hero. Most a lot of Esper players are playing cards, well you know like Bell Haunt that we took out, um, but then Hostage Taker and the Flyer that draws a card and gains three life, and so yeah they had removal and honor guard, but I had none of those cards in my in my deck, so it worked out just really really well for us. So I want Erasure and Ascanta and Kaya's Wrath. And then it's either Elder Spell or Oath of Kaya. I'm going to keep Elder Spell since we have Kaya's Wrath for creatures. I guess our opponent's name is Control also. So that probably means they're playing Planeswalkers. <laughs> Looks like an Esper Mirror here. So, <clears throat> glad we kept Elder Spell. Kind of wish we would have had Othakaya instead of Kaya's Wrath there. This is like the best card on turn six. But it's not doing anything until turn six, and there's a lot of discard in this matchup. I'm still going to keep it. I think it's better than getting rid of it. It's just too powerful. 
Oh god, it's just too powerful. We gotta find lands, of course. We'd like to be ditching, like, you know, Cast Down or Kaya's Wrath or something like that, and then drawing a, drawing a card afterwards. All right, I'll just ditch it. Good call. So I, I want to be filling the graveyards we get to flip as Kanta, you know. Good chance our opponent has, like, Teferi or, you know, some Planeswalker that they don't want to play because of my Elder Spell. But thankfully for us, with having Command the Dreadhorde, it's good to play Planeswalkers. Stand by and watch. So, of course, I don't get to draw a card with Narset in play. Reverse. It's only a matter of time. If you wish to surrender, I have just the trick for this. If we would have found the land, I would have gone with the Command the Dread Horde there. One card away from flipping Ars Kanta already. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Okay. It's basically testing for another Dovin's Veto. Oh, right. I don't get to do both of those. That was kind of my plan was to do both of those. I guess I'm activating the Narset. Right, because those Kanto's just blue mana. You know, this land over here that doesn't look like it's blue mana at all. It's just blue. Oh, do they have their own Command the Dread Horde? Well, that's messy. I know my responsibility. Let's skip to the good part. I've got time. Hmm. 
This isn't a fight you can win. I am glad they grabbed my Teferi back so I get to put it back in the library. That is convenient. You know what? I'm not done yet. This might be a bad idea. Blech. Grab this to ferry back. And prepare. Man, this matchup is pretty boring. <laughs> it's not the best. Hey, what's up, Rec? Hope y'all are, are doing okay, though. An open mind. Yeah, this I is not, not the most fun magic here. <laughs> I already used my Elder Spell. Used it too early. Can't play Bell Haunt this turn. I only have one white source up, and none of these are white sources. Play another Ascanta. Uh, maybe get another Narset in here. Hone your prowess. Do they have a second Command the Dread Horde? Most people are just playing one Command the Dread Horde these days. They're really acting like they have a second. They're checking the graveyard a ton, at least. Yeah, they have a second Command the Dread Horde. We'll bounce the bell hunt. I still have much to learn. Put thoughtfulness before action. Bounce bell hunt, play bell hunt. We 
We need to move quickly. And of course, obviously, I need to get rid of their Teferi. That should be game. Taking my command, the Dread Horde. I can't stop them from like the next turn playing uh, Big Teferi Elder Spelling it and ultimating Teferi. Man, this matchup's a beating. <laughs> I shouldn't have saved Esper for last. End up playing, you know, like 20 matches. That's playing this thing. Um, well, the guy is good here, though. That, you know, picks off the three mana Planeswalker is really well, and good thing for Time Raveler. It really is good. What do y'all think I should cut out of these three? I'm thinking like Unmort Ego take their Command the Dread Hordes and take Command the Dread Horde and take Elder Spell. I, I could play... Could t I'm sorry, I could take out Dovin's Veto. Alright, Caesar, have a good have a good night. Alright, I'm just gonna take out Dovin's Veto. You know, there's a little Teferi in play, we don't get to play it. This is kind of a bad hand to have. I'm I don't really want to mulligan in in the matchup, but this is kind of a bad hand to have because kind of assuming my opponent's gonna have a lot of discard and they'll just make me discard like these really nice cards and or they're just gonna mulligan into oblivion. Yay for keeping the hand. <laughs> So I think they're on four cards right now. Yeah. Both basics already. Sorry, I'm late. Here we go. That's more like it. 
Beverly Hills. I am not going to sit this one out. I'll protect you. Let's get that thing out of here while we can right now. Here we go. Now I could have played Bell Hunt, make them discard a card and pressure the Teferi with the Bell Hunt. Sorry, I'm hurry. Hmm. Well, that's a little worse for me. Trust me, I have a plan. This All right, regret not playing the bell hunt. You need to slow if I play down. bell hunt, they don't. They either they have to discard one of these to spark, so they don't have like that ability to do that. Yeah, not not playing the bell hunt hurt me pretty bad there. I really should have seen that coming. This is hardly my worst defeat. That worked out. Good duress. I want to land. For the search for Escanta, and then let's take another Elder spell. Right on schedule. Keep up the pace. Make another move. Only time will tell. Alright, what they what were those two draw steps? Narset, that's a good one. There are so many I have just the trick for this. Okay, a bunch of Narsets. Hmm. Really feel like I should be playing this Command the Dread Horde. I yeah, I should just be playing Command. I know my responsibility. Trust me. You'll like thank me later. And Hey Matthew, Let's welcome back. That's more like it. Meditate and prepare. I guess I should have ticked up with Teferi and then Thought Razor during draw step here. Because then I Elder Spell and kill them the next turn. I guess that was the better play than putting the Yothakai back in my hand. Because then we could have seen if they drew Elder Spell or not. That was a better play. Alright, that's twice I made a worse play. I made... Two suboptimal plays during that game, but didn't really matter. Our opponent was on four cards. Yeah, it was better to, to flash in Thought Erasure, it was. 
There you go. Oh, thanks for listening to the stream while working. All right, the important game three. Razor does help them hit land drops. But the game's going to go for a while. I think I want to take Teferi. Yeah. <clears throat> The Unmoored Ego does a, does a good job of just getting taken by a discard spell at least, so I don't even have to worry about like playing it in the card disadvantage that it is and everything. Alright, good. I've had. Have a good night. Well, I think our opponent's probably ahead here. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Don't worry, I got this. That was a good draw. Ooh. They discard their own Bell Haunt. They would rather not just grasp my Bell Haunt than have their own. Interesting. I've got it. Those who cannot hone your prowess. I don't know if they're playing two bell hunts or not, but I want to keep. I'm going to keep this hollowed fountain just in case if they do play a bell hunt. No, I am not making. I don't want to discard one of the other things. I train everyone with thoughtfulness before action. I have just the trick for this. I have reached my limit. Alright, I'll, I'll play it now. No reason to shock and hold up to Spark. They have a Teferi. I can't play instance. Let's try this. So what did they shock in here for? Eating spaghetti over here, very nice. That's what I had for, for lunch. Hey, kitty. I'm no 
known for my excellent timing. No, I can't play around Veto. This could be Elder Spell. Okay, you just knocked his grasp. Elder Spell would have been a problem. Noctis Grasp isn't as bad. I can no longer stand by and watch. No time for a break. Well, that doesn't do anything. This might be a bad idea. I guess it would make sense for them to have Dovin's veto here. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. That didn't go according to Really? Just gonna knock this grass so I don't just to keep me from too loyalty. Meditate and prepare. All that does is just keep me from too loyalty. You know what? I'm not done yet. I guess two loyalty is a card. That is true. Like with Narset minus saying two loyalty is a card. They they traded that f to not let me impulse, but you know they could have that right now and kill my Teferi. I think I got this one under control now. Drawn from dreams is sweet, but they still have Escanta. The good thing for us, though, is they just don't have very many lands because of, like, all the discard and stuff earlier. You know, like, they just haven't really hit land drops. So they don't have, you know, they don't have the ability to be, like, activating Escant every turn and playing other things. Really, all they want to be doing is drawing lands. Like, draw land that gives them the ability to activate Escanta and cast something like Noxious Grasp, Elder Spell. So that was a good draw for them, the land. Yeah, that was a, that was a great draw for them. We will You're meet a again. Mighty warrior. I concede. Right. I don't have I anything against dabbing. I know. Hold that thought. So they've only played one Elder Spell so far. <laughs> I understand. You gotta, gotta amuse yourself during the, the S premiere here. No, my drawn from dreams. That's Kanta, you so good. Ooh, they kept that on top very quickly. Ah, they drew another land. Lands are the best they can be drawn. Now let's draw this thing first so we have more information with the, the Narset. Alright, well we want little oh, Teferi. Alright, well I'll take that thing. I'm at 25. So this is 4, 8, 11. What's chilling over in my graveyard? Um, 15, 18. Not choose that thing. Back down to 15. Let's choose mine. Right on schedule. 
right. I want to keep uncover. this one. Put thoughtfulness before action. Oh, no! Darn it! I didn't stop during their draw step fast enough. Got him. They never expected. <laughs> never expected that. Ugh. Oh, they just didn't cast it? Oh, oh, that was that's not Elder Spell. That's Command the Dread Horde. Alright, we'll see if we find Elder yeah, Spell ourselves. Nope. I guess I could activate you. Guess you could find a Elder Spell. No. Nope. All right, so we'll just do the regular tick up. You know what? I'm not done yet. All right, we played magic correctly there. <laughs> yep, finally there was attack in the game. We did attack last ma last game, but that was the first attack this game. The, you know, turn 16. Oh gosh, way past that. Probably like turn 20 attack. Yeah, probably about turn 20. 20, yeah. I don't know, something like that. So, yeah, we attacked with creatures. They were so haunting. All right, so we'll just we'll kill him here. Two and two. Back up to the numbers. All right, so that's Esper Control. Um, we'll go ahead and stop here. It's the end of the night tonight, and I got the 12-hour stream tomorrow, so we won't do any overtime here with the, for the fifth match. Takes a little while there. Um, oh, we could get to we could get to top thousand tomorrow. And the, the reward for getting top 1,000, though, is getting access to the next, being qualified for the next Mythic qualifier, Mythic Championship qualifier, and I'm already qualified for it, so it's no, it's no difference whether it's top 1,000 or not top 1,000 for me here. Um, but yeah, basically with, with our list, I, I still like what's going on here. The... You know, our, our loss is there. We had just, like, the really weird loss to the Mono Blue deck. I don't, I don't really know what happened there. That's just a, a really weird game. And then the Simic deck... The Simic deck's going to be tough at times, and especially when our opponent had all their counter spells in their deck for us there, the, the Frilled Mystics, the Negates. And, you know, I just had a bunch of lands. That's that's going to be a tough matchup for us at times. They have a lot of Card of Angio, Risen Reef, Hydroid Crisis. There's times where it lines up for us where, you know, we Kai's Wrath away a huge board. You know, we have Narset in play, so it stops Krasis kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, that's that's one that we're going to be 
you know, 50% at, at best, you know, but around there, you know, somewhere in like the 45, 50% range of winning. And, you know, we lost two out of three. No shame in that. And then, you know, we won our other matches. Um, but yeah, I still, I still like what we have going on here. You know, uh, cast down is just a, a good removal spell. I could see playing two cast downs instead of the scorns, but I actually kind of like the scorn. Uh, their Legion's End is just so important these days with all the zombies and Adanto Vanguards and everything everywhere. And I like the Noxious Grasp and Elder Spell Main, of course. Um, you know, every like Noxious Grasp, besides Mono Red, Noxious Grasp was good against every other deck in the format. If you look at like the top decks, Noxious Grasp was good against like everything except for Mono Red. And so it's it's certainly worth playing a main, I, I think. Um, the Drawn from Dreams was awesome. Really like that card. I like having another one in the sideboard too. Um, but yeah, this, I, I think that this, if, if you're a fan of Esper Control, I really like this list. I think this is a very solid list. I rec recommend trying this one out here. So there we go. Um, that's Esper Control. Hope you all enjoyed Tier 1 Tuesday. Let me know in the comments and everything how you liked Tier 1 Tuesday and everything. Uh, but that's, that's it here. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons if you're watching this on YouTube. But thanks so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.